hello everyone welcome back in this video we will see handling task failure so normally when a task fails in the ansible playbook immediately it will abort the rest of the play on that host and uh, that will skip all the subsequent task however sometimes uh, we might want to have the play execution continue even if any task fails so let's see uh, how we can ignore um, the task of failure using the ignore errors keyword as i said uh, by default if the task fails then the rest of the task will be aborted and it will exit from the playbook so uh, let us see uh, some uh, simple example let me create a small uh, playbook to uh, demo this how we can use the ignore errors keyword task Failure.yaml. Name. Install. Packages. Or we can make it something relevant using. Task failure. let me use server a dot com and task i'm going to install package one using the m module and name of the package no pkg one state present okay and uh, the next task install package two using a module and name let me try using the wipe bind and state present okay let me save and exit and simple playbook check syntax okay it should be syntax check okay now let me execute the playbook okay it's trying to install package one and uh, we get the error saying no package matching no package one found available installed or updated so uh, we had two tasks install package one and uh, install package two but uh, here we can see after uh, the package one uh, the task one get failed it is not executed the another task and uh, it just aborted the task here itself okay so now to overcome this problem we are going to use the ignore error keyword because as you know there is no package name called no package one that's why it is not able to install it and uh, then it skip the remaining task and exit the playbook so now i'm going to use 
the keyword called ignore errors yes okay now let me execute the playbook and uh, it's keep the uh, package one the task uh, first task and uh, now it is running the second task install package two and we can see that uh, the status changed okay so next uh, we'll see forcing execution of handlers after task failure okay so in this exercise uh, let's see how we can force handlers even if there is any task failure so let me create some sample exercise okay so here let me put some name forcing execution of handlers okay task it's so we have not specified the host let me use server b.acg.com and here let's use some simple install package Let me use uh, AutoFS. To send. And notify. Start and enable service. Okay, in the second task, I'm installing package two. Yum. Name of the package, not a package. In state, present. Okay. So next we are going to use the handlers, handlers name, start and enable service using service module. I'm going to restart the HTTPD service. okay so here if we uh, execute uh, this playbook what will happen it will install this first task using autofs and then when it try to run the task 2 installing package 2 it will fail because there is no package exist but uh, in this case if we still want to uh, execute the handlers then we need to specify force handlers okay so we need to use this force handlers keyword so that uh, it will not skip the handlers even if there is a task failure
Okay, there is a typo. So let me execute the playbook. Okay, looks like there is a error. Let me open the playbook. Okay, as you can see, there is a space issue. It has to be straight to the task. Okay, now let me save and uh, execute the playbook. Okay, so normally when a task fails and uh, the play aborts on that host, any handlers that had been notified by earlier task in that play will not run but uh, if we use force handlers keyword on the playbook then uh, the notified handlers will be called even if the play aborted because of any task failure okay so you can see that uh, there is a task failure here but still it calls the handlers to start and enable the service that we have mentioned okay so that's it uh, in this video and i'll see you in the next thank you